I'm Kevin Liz with a wedding photographer and bridal boutique owner based in San Diego. Today's video is going to be all about vow area decor. If you're not sure what a vow area is, it's the area where you stand at the ceremony where you're going to be saying your vows, having the bulk of your ceremony as the couple. So in this video, I am going to be showing lots of different weddings and a lot of these weddings you might recognize if you saw my uh, video all about the aisle decor. So I did an entire video all about aisle decor. So if you have not seen that video, definitely watch it because then you'll have the full picture of ceremony decor. So without any more talking, let's go ahead and jump into lots of different ceremony inspiration. So if you happen to have a venue that just has gorgeous scenery already, and especially if you're on a budget and you're like, well, Kevin, I don't feel like I have to decorate my vow area, then by all means, do not decorate it. Just let your space shine. Um, especially if you have some aisle arrangements at the front of your aisle, then you absolutely don't have to do anything. You can let big trees or something special in the background absolutely shine. So here's another example of that. They have beautiful backgrounds. They've got this gorgeous tree, bushes, and then the golf course behind them. So they didn't do anything up at the front of their wedding. They just let the scenery itself um, happen to be the backdrop of their wedding. And then so the vow area itself did not have any decor. For this next wedding, what they did was they just had a lot of large planters. I actually don't know that they brought any of these in. I think that these might have just been in existence at the venue themselves, but the florist definitely, I know, did put these flowers on the cactus, the paddle cacti. So they brought in some pink and red flowers, so they decorated those. And then you can see them in the background of the wedding, so it's a very Palm Springs style feel. So that was something that was really beautiful and definitely fit with the venue. So taking advantage of the existing scenery and then you've just got the existing hedges in the background there. So definitely a very minimal feel here as well. Now for this next um, setting that I wanna show you guys, this is a, I guess what you would call a ground arrangement. So if you wanna take advantage of the scenery in the background and not block it, so you can see in the background here, we've got some mountains. This is definitely a very unique thing here. So the forest just created a ground arrangement with a ton of greenery and then a little bit of flowers. So you can see here with the couple standing, that you get to see the ground arrangement and it's not blocking any of the mountains in the background. I don't see this done that often and it's a really cool way to have um, just something that's very different and then you get to see all of that beautiful scenery in the background. Now for the next couple of weddings, I'm gonna be showing you guys um, a really, I would say a very common type of vow area decor that I see which is flower arrangements on some sort of pedestal. So in this example here, they are on these beautiful glass pedestals, or I don't even really, I would, would not call these vases, but just pedestals of sorts, um, almost like terrarium type things on top of these wooden boxes. There's some candles down below. So I often see um, pedestal arrangements accompanied by candles on the ground. So that's really common. And then you just get to see a little bit of a close-up look here. And then for this next wedding, which is at the Hotel Del Coronado, a very famous hotel in San Diego, another style thing, you've got them on acrylic pedestals here and like nice lush flower arrangements. And a lot of the times these arrangements are repurposed for the reception. I would say nine times out of 10, pedestal arrangements are repurposed for the wedding reception. They go um, usually somewhere like the escort table or um, by the sweetheart table or on the dessert table. They're almost always repurposed. Now just to jump inside a church wedding, I'm going to show you guys um, right here. You can see a wide view of the church now up at the vow area. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see. Um, so here you can see up at the front of the church, there's actually two sets of arrangements here. Um, the lighter, more neutral arrangement is actually the couple's arrangement. The more colorful one is one that was here by the church already. So the church just happened to have some arrangements hanging around. So this couple actually had double the arrangements for their wedding. Um, so it's just something that was already here. 
and then jumping to a completely different wedding, but at the exact same church, you can see how this couple used a different style of um, like vase, basically. I mean, this isn't really a vase, but let's just call it a vase for this video purpose. And then for this wedding, the church did not have their own arrangement in place. So you can see how it's a very different look. So to jump back outside, this is going to be a freestanding arrangement without any sort of pedestal. So the florist is going to build this on a little structure and it's going to be a very organic type of feel. This one is asymmetrical, meaning that one of the freestanding arrangements is higher than the other. So this isn't an arch, this isn't like a circle or any sort of shape. This is just a freestanding asymmetrical arrangement. This one is very greenery heavy, so you've only got a little bit of flowers in here. So the more flowers you have, the more expensive. So if you are on more of a budget, have it be more greenery and less flowers. The higher the petal count, they call it, the more expensive it's going to be. So this next arrangement I'm going to show you is pretty much the exact same style. So an asymmetrical freestanding arrangement, but a much higher petal count. So this one would be a lot more expensive. This one was created for an editorial that I did for my bridal boutique. And this one is going to be a lot more high end. So you can definitely expect to spend more on something like this because it features a lot more flowers. So it's got a higher petal count. So if you're looking for something very organic, very lush, this kind of ceremony vowel decor is going to be really, really beautiful. Now this next vowel area decor is actually going to be quite large because this is a chuppah, which is done for Jewish weddings. So they're going to get married under the chuppah. This is done for religious tradition and this is very, very fun, very, very beautiful. And this chuppah is draped with a very soft blush drapery. And then on the front of the chuppah, you can see in this close up version is actually a beautiful arrangement made from greenery and then white flowers. Sometimes people don't decorate the front of the chuppah at all with flowers. So if you're wanting a more economical version, you would not do this. Sometimes people deck it out from head to toe in flowers if they have a lot more money to spend. Now jumping to a couple of beach weddings here, we've got a very um, budget friendly version here with just a wooden structure decorated in a little bit of white ivory draping and then a couple of palm fronds and then some anthurium flowers on here. This is going to be pretty budget friendly. It's very minimal here. And then if we jump over to this next beach wedding at the exact same venue, we've got a little bit more draping and then some lush flower arrangements. So just a little bit higher of a budget here. Nothing too crazy, but just definitely going up a little bit more in pricing, a little bit less tropical and a little bit more classical of a style. Zooming in just a little bit so you guys can see this definitely has a lot higher of a petal count than the last wedding that we were just looking at. Now going on to a very similar look, but a very different style at a very different venue. This is a similar look with draping and a very high petal count just up at the top. This is a beautiful look for the lodge at Tory Pines wedding at a golf course wedding. This is a very classic traditional wedding look that you can have. So if you're looking for something with beautiful roses, a very traditional type wedding, this is a really cool look that you can do with draping and flowers done just at the top. Now, if you want a more structured look without draping and just flowers, something maybe even a little bit rustic, you can do what this wedding did here. This wedding was originally supposed to be outside, but it was raining in the day before, so it got kind of muddy, so they moved it inside. And they did a little bit of an exposed arch here because the structure itself was really beautiful, so they didn't have to cover it all in flowers. And then what they did was they had some greenery mixed with flowers. So I would say that this was a moderate budget here for this particular structure. So lots of greenery here and then some roses as well. So you've got a nice balance of the two. If you wanted to make this more economical, you would simply take away some flowers. If you wanted to spend a little bit more on this, you could cover more of the structure. I wouldn't add too many more flowers to this because I do love the balance of the two. 
Now this next wedding features a lot of gorgeous Southern Smilex. That's the greenery that you see on this structure here. And it's got a really beautiful asymmetrical balance of the flowers featured more heavily on the left side and no flowers on the right side. And I just absolutely love that look. So you don't always have to spread your flowers all out over your arch. You can have it be very asymmetrical and it can look beautiful. I also love their aisle arrangements too. It's very, very gorgeous. Um, and this is a very organic, very outdoorsy look here, but still very classic and beautiful. And then we zoom in a little bit. You can see the choice of flowers. They kept it very classic here with their color palette. You can see a little bit of that art structure peeking through. Just gives it a little bit of a rustic touch, but still very classic and elegant. Now, if you wanna have a little bit of a softer shape, you can go with a circular arrangement. This one is open on the bottom, so it's definitely not a full circular arch. You can go full circular. I haven't included any full circle where the whole thing is covered in flowers in this video example, so you can just use your imagination. But this one features very heavy greenery and flowers, so this is a really nice structure. If you wanted to go more budget friendly, you could go looser on the greenery and the flowers. You could go all greenery and have no flowers in here. Um, or you could go lighter on the greenery all together. And then here's just a close up look of this. So we've got some Southern Smilax in here, some roses, some hydrangea, a nice mix of everything all in here. And then this next example I'm gonna show you guys, it's got actually open at the top instead of open at the bottom. So not the whole structure is covered, but it's a very similar look with the green and white palette, Southern Smilax, just really similar but open at the top. So it just shows you all the options you have if you wanna have a circular shape. Now, if you're like Kevin, I actually want to do a completely different shape altogether. Why not triangular shapes? So this bride's father actually built this triangular arch for this wedding and he drove it eight hours south um, all the way down from their home to the venue and then the florist floralized it with just a couple of touches of flowers and pompous grass. So this is actually a very economical look. Um, the arch itself was pretty bare, but it's not too plain or boring because the triangular shape is really cool and you get to see a lot of the mountains behind the arch. So it's not taking away too much from the scenery itself. It's a really, really cool look. And then just a little clusters of flowers over this arch is a really, really nice touch. Now, if you've got a structure on your venue to work with, so say something like a flower, a fireplace here, you can actually integrate some flowers and some structures into it to work with the venue itself. So right here, we've placed a couple of arrangements into the structure of the fireplace to give it some interest. Now, if you wanted to make this more economical, you would simply take away some arrangements, maybe make them a little bit smaller. You could completely just have the fireplace absolutely bare or maybe add some candles to it as well. But in this example, we went pretty all out for this editorial just to make it really impactful and powerful. And I love flowers, so we wanted to see lots of flowers in here. You could also make the arrangements a little bit more greenery heavy and have less flowers in them as well. Now in this next example, the florist really made use of the wall to create this gorgeous flower installation. And she actually had a lot of really cool elements in this. And I'm gonna show you guys lots of close-ups because this one deserves a lot of attention because it was so unique. So what she actually did was she spray painted a lot of these dried out leaves. So she sun dried a lot of these. She also used some mixed elements in here. So you'll see some paper fans that she spray painted as well. And this was all up and along the top of the wall. And then as you move down, you'll see that she used a lot of different real flowers in here like coral charm peonies. And along the bottom, there's actually some cut fruit in there which is really cool. So she used so many different elements in here and it's just absolutely beautiful. And then we move on to this close up. You can see a lot of those paper fans in here and then you'll see the couple in front of the wall. So this was just absolutely stunning. So you can use really cool elements that aren't even flowers as part of your Val decor. So this is something that I hope really inspires you guys. You can get absolutely creative. You could totally DIY this or have your florist do it. This is something that I will never forget. I thought that this was just so beautiful and unique. 
So another example of working with your venue's existing structure, this trellis was already here and this greenery, so all of these green vines and ivy that you already see was already here. So what this florist actually did was added in the little pink roses that you see and then all along the middle top, they added in those pink flowers and then the hanging flowers as well. And then obviously the little table and tiny arrangement in the middle was added in. So if you have an existing structure like this, sure, you could just get away with doing nothing, but you can also add in little flowers just to give pops of your own color palette in there to make it interesting and make it match your wedding so that you have it stand out. And this next wedding, this green structure is always here at this venue and the florist added in these flowers into the structure to make it match the wedding. So this is another example of how to make your wedding actually look like your own wedding at a venue that's got a structure that could stand alone so you could technically use it without adding anything in at all. So if you're on a really tight budget, it's there and it's pretty enough to be beautiful in your pictures. But if you want to add in some flowers, you can absolutely do that. You could use less than this. You could use more than this. You can go crazy or you can go minimal or you could really go nothing at all if you needed to. Now this last wedding that I'm going to show you guys is really cool. So the florist went all out on this tree here. So you can see that there's so much going on. There are little, um, almost like dream catcher style things hanging from the trees. There's arrangements attached to the trees. And then there's this beautiful arrangement installation coming down from the base of the tree spilling out onto the grass. So if you look at this little up close, hanging from the tree is really beautiful. There's some lights in here too. And then we move on to the next part, this arrangement attached to the trees as well as the arrangement spilling out from the tree with the pompous grass and the coral charm peonies. So this florist really went all out on this wedding. The bride's vision was so cool. There was so much pink for this wedding and it was absolutely stunning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There were a lot of different ceremony, vow area, decor inspiration ideas that I showed you guys. If you did like this video, let me know down in the comments below. If there's any other video types like this that you guys wanna see where I go through lots of different weddings of mine, definitely let me know because I have tons of weddings that I can share. If there's different like reception, tablescapes that you wanna see, or different areas of weddings that you want to see lots of different inspiration all in one video, let me know and I will definitely do lots of videos like these. See you guys next time, bye.